Okay, so the dart was lodged and I actually hit the dart that was lodged there. Hey, what's up, good people? This is not an episode of Pwned, and this is not a throwback, or technically not a real, like, throwback video. But I just felt that if I don't make this video, I might regret it later on in my, in my life. But yeah, so this is the blaster in question, and it is a very, very old blaster that I modded. It is a sawtooth, but the mod is known as a sawtooth rifle, and I really wanted to share it with you guys because today, this beauty is going to be handed over to a new owner and of course that new owner will be someone who is able to take care and maintain and upgrade and appreciate this beast for what it is. I don't even remember when I actually made this mod. I do believe I made a video on it but you know my old production skills weren't so good so I think now I'm actually at a better production level. I want to just go through this all over again. This is based off a vintage blaster known as the Max Force. Sawtooth and it is, if I'm not wrong, the very first Nerf Blaster in history that was actually clip fed. You just put darts into it and then the holder will move up as you fire it through. And uh, yeah, it's it's a very very comfortable blaster, small little grip over here. And this is my take on the Sawtooth Rifle mod and uh, for me what I did, okay from the back to the front, is I created a removable stock. Let me just remove the stock to show you guys. Okay, it's a removable stock. This still retains a little bit of its mobility. Originally, it was a, a big orange stock that could actually just flip over and you could use it as a shoulder stock. But yeah, uh, now it's just that. I've completely redone the internals. This is now a pretty big plunger tube. It's 300 millimeter, which is the same size as what we use for the R3 homemade blasters. Of course, an aluminum priming rod, as you can see. And I've also attached it to a night finder kind of a ring. So yeah, you can see some screws over there. And you'll see a tube running out. And the tube is going to a Supermax 1500 air tank over here. This is a single shot part. And this is where the uh, main plunger tube system fires out. I actually was experimenting with hoppers on this blaster. So this worked out pretty well for a short clip hopper and a short barrel. And this over here is a new attachment piece. And in the past, this slot was actually used for a priming bolt. So in stock form, this blaster is like the predecessor to the long shot, you know, with a collapsible stock with a bolt priming action and it's being clip fed and all so yeah um that's the main reason why i fell in love with it i mean of course this is stock colors with the paint job over here and stickers that's a little bit torn i mean worn out over the years you know wear and tear so this part now it's the pump for the supermax 1.5k tank i've linked the trigger up to both systems as you can see it activates the pin on the supermax tank as well as moves the catch for the plunger. I don't even recall how come I had so much time to actually make a mod like this, but yeah, it's a lot of internals work, just using the shell again. You kind of prime it this way. As you can see, it's a very, very hefty spring pole, and you can see the full aluminum rod. I think that the next owner is going to have to do some uh, maintenance on the gasket because over the years, probably some of the lubricant has already dried out. And this is actually fashioned out from a huge PVC coupler. So I just cut the bottom out and then made a bolt all the way straight through and connected it to the pump on the inside. Quite a lot of work. Air tubing running out on the outside here because that was the nice spot to do it because it fits with the curvature of the blaster. I was afraid that if I don't make a video on this, I would regret. And honestly, it's uh, something that I was really, really, I still am really, really proud of. Like, you know, I did like little slots over here so I could put a screwdriver through and screwing these screws over here. So it's crazy, like, you know, all the crazy things that I thought about. And you know, the curvature here fits this um, PVC fitting. You know, this was actually a T-joint cutoff, you know, stuff like that. And I don't even know what went on in my mind and how I was able to think up of all this stuff, but I'm really, really glad that I did. And uh, unfortunately for me, this blaster has been sitting in my collection for, uh, I think, at least maybe five years or so. So um, I think it's time this goes on to another owner. Now, I don't know how well this system will actually work with the current standard of Stefan's, which is a silicone tip dart. So uh, I'm just gonna give it a try. I'll probably load it up with about two silicone tip darts and a traditional slug. So I got two silicone tips, all right? One is a nipple tip dart style and a slug. So I'm gonna put the slug first. Then after that, I'm gonna put the nipple tip and I'm going to then finish it off third shot with the silicone tip dart. And let's try and see how well this thing works. All right, so um, I know it's a pretty inefficient hopper system because we're using the plunger tube, but let's just try it out anyway. Because the Supermax 1.5K tank will not be able to support such a you know hopper system because of the air volume. Fire off in the corner, like how we always did. And I don't even know why I planned this ring to be on the right side, even though I'm lefty. So that's kind of silly of me, but 
Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works, okay? Okay, first shot out, not a problem. Nope, it's not working for the second shot. We try again. Let's try it again. Oh! Oh, made it out and bounced behind me. Okay, so that's cool. All right, last shot. I'm gonna have to shake it a little bit, make sure that it feeds because of the silicone tip dart and... No, it's not coming out. It's not happening. This is the standard silicone tip dart, I believe. Yeah, so it's you can see it's stuck. Where is it? Hmm, I have no idea where it is. That's really strange. Oh, that means both darts actually fired out at the same time. Okay, so the second shot was made up of two darts. As you can see, it's not a very efficient hopper system. And I hope that the new owner actually changes it to a 3D printed 30 degree Y. Because that means that you could actually fire off streamlined length darts. On to the Supermax Tank. Um, this is the wrong barrel, so I should throw this away. I'll use this barrel instead, okay? Load it up with a silicon tip dart on this side over here. Then we'll just connect it in. Like so. And I'll pump it up about three times. And let's see how this thing fires. Wow, pretty well. Oh, it broke the dart. Oh no! Okay, so the dart was lodged and I actually hit the dart that was lodged there. So two darts came up. Okay, you don't need that explanation, but anyway. Let's load another silicone tip dart and let's try it out with four pumps instead. So, here we go. Load it in. Four pumps. Here we go. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Uh, I kind of like over the years forgot about how powerful a Supermax 1.5k tank would be. This is what it looks like from the front without any of the barrels attached and uh, everything is removable as you guys can see so easy storage and uh, I'm I'm really I'm really gonna miss this guy. I'm uh, probably gonna regret letting this go but it's been sitting in my collection for like the last five years and I've not touched it since. I think it deserves a good owner. This is what we know as a sawtooth rifle mod and I hope that you guys learned something from this. This is almost like a throwback mod but I just wanted to run this through with you guys again before I ever regret not being able to do a proper video on this guy. I know internals were a crazy amount of work and uh, you know you probably have to know like how I guess homemade systems work or how catch systems work for you to make sure that you can understand this whole thing. Right now at my skill level or my understanding of Nerf Blasters is honestly like a mid-level, mid-difficulty kind of mod. But if you're new to modding, this is going to be really difficult for you. If you're an advanced modder, this is just a piece of cake. So with that said, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I hope you guys give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you guys consider subscribing. That's it. That's it. I just really wanted to make this video before I regret. I know I've said it a lot of times in this episode or this video. If you guys wanted to know how I learned about modding like this, I actually read up a lot of write-ups on the Nerf Haven and previously on the Nerf Revolution forums and I took a lot of time, trial and error. In all honesty, I actually made two sawtooth rifles, one for myself, which is the first one, this guy, and I actually commissioned one more for an old friend of mine and that was different because by then I was able to work out with turrets, so I actually had a turret on the front over here. Till the next video guys, Jules pay the bills, teamwork makes the dream work and if you guys have any questions about this blaster, go ahead ask me in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you out. Peace.